It's a precarious situation as the conflict is escalating in the Middle East. Israel and Hezbollah are engaged in a ferocious battle. The Israeli military says it struck around 290 targets, including thousands of Hezbollah rockets launcher barrels. On October 8th, another Iranian terrorist proxy, Hezbollah, attacked Israel completely unprovoked. They fired missiles and rockets into our cities. They made 60,000 Israelis leave their homes along the Lebanon border, becoming refugees in their own land. In the subsequent months, they haven't stopped for a single day attacking us. No country can accept the wanton rocketing of its cities. We can't accept it either. We will take whatever action is necessary to restore security and to bring our people safe back to their homes. The United States says it's very concerned by these developments. We've spoken about this uh, and our concerns, uh, and so we've been very clear about this. Our commitment, uh, obviously, to, to uh, Israel's security is ironclad. We are unwavering, uh, um, raving against all uh, um, Iran-backed uh, threats, including Hezbollah. Uh, and what we have said, and, and I think this is kind of the question that you asked to me, is like the diplomatic resolution is achievable. That's what we still believe. Uh, it is urgent, obviously. Uh, the conflict uh, along the blue line has gone on for way too long, far too long, and uh, it needs to get to a resolution quickly. And so we're going to continue to do that, continue to have those diplomatic uh, conversations. Uh, we continue to work on a ceasefire deal. We believe that is that is uh, the way forward in, in um, calming and uh, lowering the temperature. Meanwhile, in Ramallah, Palestinians marched in the streets in support of Lebanon. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated from homes on both sides of Israel-Lebanon border. A number of funerals have been held in Lebanon after the radar devices detonated across the country and killed more than 30 people and wounded nearly 3,000 others. Strongly condemn this Israeli's attack. Such actions represent a blatant violation of Lebanon's sovereignty, of the UN Charter, of the international law, and of resolution. These acts of aggression amount to war crimes with densely populated areas being targeted. This dangerous turns civilian devices into bombs, threatening the safety of all and posing a significant threat, open a dangerous Pandora box. What will happen if such unfamiliar tactics are replicated by terrorist groups. Israeli troops have also stormed Qatari News Channel Al Jazeera's office in the West Bank and the office will be closed for 45 days. Earlier this year, Israeli authorities shut down Al Jazeera's station in Jerusalem saying it's threatened national security. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.